Hi, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. And here I, I meet well-known experts in topic of parenting. Today, I have a conversation with Dr. Jack Newman, who is a well-known lactation expert and pediatrician. And we're talking on the effect of epidural. So uh, hopefully this conversation will be useful. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and let us know what you think in the comments. The anesthetist will tell mothers uh, to, uh, before they go into labor, uh, that the drugs will not affect the baby. And this is just simply not true. Some of the drugs do get into the mother's uh, blood. And if it gets into the mother's blood, it gets to the baby as well. And so a lot of the uh, babies that are born after an epidural uh, are, tend to be sleepy or even floppy. I remember in Africa, I never saw a baby that was born and was not ready to go to the breast. Whereas we do see them here in Canada where, uh, you know, probably 60, even 70% of all women in labor get an epidural. And we see these babies who are half asleep or floppy. It's not all, but some. And uh, it's um, almost certainly, and we have evidence that it, it's true, that uh, the uh, drugs used for epidural do get to the, into the mother's blood and do get to the baby and th therefore affect the baby. The other side of this issue is that uh, when mothers get epidural, they also get an eye intravenous. And when you, they give an intravenous, they give a lot of fluid. And I don't know why they give so much fluid. The idea of the eye intravenous is to uh, keep a vein open in case there's bleeding and you have to resuscitate the, uh, the, 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 the mother because the, 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 she may drop her blood pressure. And uh, uh, so they keep those, uh, but why they have to give so much fluid, sometimes a liter or two in an hour? Why, why, I don't know. But it means that the mother is born overhydrated sometimes. It often means that the baby is born overhydrated. And if, from the baby's point of view, there's this rule in my city and often around the world that if the baby loses 10% of his birth weight in the first couple of days, that baby needs to be supplemented because the baby's not getting enough milk. But those babies are born with too much fluid and they pee it out. And of course, if they're peeing out this, all this uh, liquid, they're, they're going to lose weight. And instead of looking at weights, they should be looking at how the baby is latched on and how the baby is drinking. Because if you know anything about breastfeeding, you know how to know a baby is actually getting milk from the breast. But this is not taught in medical school. It's not taught to the nurses. It's not even taught by, to some lactation consultants. Nobody seems to know this. I know this. <laughs> Our lactation consultants know this. And anybody who's trained with us knows this. But if you just look at the weight, you can make lots of mistakes.